Mm. I love this burger, so delicious. Mm. It's one of the best burgers I've ever had. In my universe, this place closed six years ago. Mm. I don't know why, I really don't. Mm. You have money, right? Well, well, well. I never thought I would be making another video on this game. When was the last time I made a Red Dead video? Like, September? Shit. Yeah, I think it was September. That was the last, that was like the last kill montage I made. Ah, oh, shit. Well, uh, first of all, hi, hello. Uh, for Red Dead Online people, I, you don't know who I am. Uh, I'm Kane. I, I used to do st videos on this game. I, I used to play this game a lot, actually. Um, actually, I used to consider this, you know, one of my favorite games. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really anymore because, well, reasons. <laughs> now, with Red Dead Online, in the past few weeks, I want to say, um, actually, this entire downward spiral really began in December. Um,. Red Dead Online has not had a good start to 2022. In fact, I argue and even say it had a terrible end to 2021. Like, a really bad end to 2021. Blood Money was the only update at that point of that year that we had gotten, and nobody knew even if we would get another update, you know, after Blood Money. And, well, hopefully we do get a new update, but you see, right now, we don't know because Rockstar doesn't say anything. And also, the past few months, like, the past few months, it's been radio silence when it comes to the Red Dead Online stuff. The only real new thing we have gotten are Call to Arms. And Call to Arms Halloween maps. And Call to Arms Christmas maps. And that's it. Call to Arms, I'll be honest, I like the Call to Arms mode, but I think it's probably, like, a, a lazy excuse just to reuse the same mode over and over again, just as, like, a bribe tactic to the Red Dead Online community, but that's just my opinion. Um, you know, in, you know, December, we had gotten a four-week event week, right? That was the only thing we got in December 2021 for Red Dead Online. GTA Online, on the other hand, they got the Dr. Dre update, you know, they got the contract, right? You know, the storyline missions for Dr. Dre, you know, the Franklin and Lamar secret missions, you know, they got that. The payphone hits, you know, coming in, the security contracts. GTA Online got a lot of stuff in December, and honestly, the GTA community was satisfied, and, well... It's almost like they've forgotten about the disastrous launch of the Definitive Edition. Which, I mean, whenever Rockstar does release a semi-decent update, and, you know, they've already done some horrible stuff, you know, prior to that in the in their other up games or their other updates. Let's say, for example, they do a shit update for Red Dead Online, but they do a great update for GTA Online. The Rockstar community tend to forget that. They tend to forget if they've gotten a bad update for Red Dead or if they got a disastrous launch like the Definitive Edition. Just because, hey, look, Dr. Dre's in this update. Hey, man, look, it's Dr. Dre. Hey, look. Hey, look, man. We got Dr. Dre, you know. We're going to get his phone. Right? That's that's basically the mindset of the GTA community. Uh, they tend to forget most bad stuff that happens. And, uh, well, you know, they're like, hey... You know, good job, Rockstar. You did a good job, my guys. You know, I mean, yes, the contract update is a great update. Don't get me wrong. But it's like the GTA community completely forgot about other stupid shit that Rockstar has done this year. Blood Money. The Definitive Edition. The lack of communication. It's like they've forgotten about that. And again, going back to Red Online... A four-week event week, right? In December. And now we're at the start of January 2022. And we have gotten another four-week event week. And this is where hashtag save Red Dead Online comes in. The community of uh, the Red Dead Online community, they believe that if they uh, you know spread a hashtag enough and they basically 
complain enough, uh, Rockstar will basically do something or react. Which, let me just be honest, I'm someone that's kind of in the middle on the hashtag. On one hand, I hope it succeeds. I really do hope that it does succeed because I love Red Dead Online just like many other people and I wish the games to succeed. I've not really been enjoying the game fairly recently, mainly because lack of content and lack of replayability. You see, after you've done all the roles, after you've done your sales, you've done your collections, you've played with your friends on Call to Arms for a bit, you basically have done everything you can do on this game. And the problem is, a lot of the stuff that is in this game, in my honest opinion, gets very repetitive after a while. Take the collector role. Take the naturalist role. Honestly, tell me how how many of you do the naturalist role. Honestly. And I'm not talking about hunting legendary animals just to get the crypts. I'm talking taking samples, you know, doing the, you know, biting herbs, becoming the animals for a bit from using the Harriet plants and all that. Honestly, tell me how many of you have been doing that in recent months, you know? And even the Collector. I am aware that Collector, yes, is one of the best ways of making money in Written Online. But personally, I don't like having to ride around the entire map just listening to music or listening to a podcast just collecting stuff over and over and over again. That stuff tends to get bo boring, you know? I mean, fetch quests alone are boring. And honestly, I don't like it that basically an entire role is just a fetch quest. No. <laughs> it should be that. And, uh, you know, I mean, Trader and Moonshine are probably the only fairly, like, great roles in my opinion. Bounty Hunter is pretty good as well. I think that's a good role, but I don't think it's as good as uh, the Moonshiner and uh, Trader, mainly just because Trader and Moonshiner, you have your actual businesses, you know, you can actually make some pretty decent money from them. And, you know, I mean, you can help people make money by doing those sales. And, uh, well, I mean, it's for fun. And, honest, honestly, I've maxed out all the roles. I've done the dub, like the, the bounty hunter license, you know, the prestigious license for it. I've done everything I can do in this game at this point, right? Most people have. And the reason why, you know, hashtag save Red Dead Online is trending and all that is because we want something, we want Rockstar to say something. We want them to just acknowledge what's going on in the game, or at least let us know what's happening, right? And personally, I doubt they're going to respond, and, uh, you know, I, I am aware that, yes, I mean, most game protests, they don't really work, if I'm being honest, you know? And, uh, honestly, that's that's just me. I'm not going to be one of them YouTubers that are going to just tramp, trample on Red Dead Online's hopes and dreams. I mean, personally, I'm going to do the opposite, and I'm going to say, you know what, if you think it's going to work, go for it, pal. Go for it. But for me, personally... I don't really have many high expectations, mainly because of, you know, previous of a protest. The clown, the clown movement, now yes, some people would say that's a success, but you see, after the clown, you know, thing, you know, happened and Naturalist released, everyone tended to forget what had happened prior and they just played Naturalist. And then a few weeks later, there was an update, patch 1.21, that broke the entire game. Some people thought that was literal sabotage on Rockstar's part to Red Dead Online. That was like one of the few times Rockstar even actually came out and said something regarding Red Dead. They didn't come out just because of the clown movement. In fact, if you looked prior, you know, when the clown movement was going on in QA betas and all that, you would have seen that the QA beta for Red Dead Online was actually being updated Around the time the clown movement was going on and, you know, Rockstar were just getting ready to prepare for that newswire and all that. So, I mean, yeah. I I'm sorry, but the clown movement, we didn't really accomplish anything because Rockstar, they were just preparing it. I mean, if you look in the QA beta, they were doing it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I'll admit, I joined in the clown movement, but I, I, I only used it as an excuse to make a Joker outfit. That's my excuse. <laughs> What's your excuse? <laughs> but, um, yeah. As I've said, personally, I don't really have any high expectations regarding hashtag Saber than online. I hope people can understand my opinion on all that. Um, I'm Again, I'm not going to trample on the community, you know, who 
want it desperately to you know to work and all that you know in, in fact i encourage you to do it you know because you know maybe it's worth a shot but personally i don't think there's a chance that anything's going to happen mainly because of past events and all that and uh well honestly if i can actually give you some recommendations for some really nice red dead youtubers that actually you know when it comes to the you know the when it comes to supporting hashtag red dead online i absolutely recommend you check them out um uh, let me let me give you some recommendations right now. First of all, Go Burns. He made a fantastic video. I think it's like 40 or 50 minutes long. I, I, I could be wrong, but it's a fairly long video, and he basically gives his honest opinion on Save Red Dead Online, and it's a very good video. And if you haven't already watched it, uh, link will be in the description. Uh, you know, do feel free to check him out. And also, you know, sub to him as well. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, and, uh, Void Amy J, another awesome content creator, I believe she's, uh, supported hashtag Sabred than online as well. And also The Professional, that's another channel I'd also recommend. I know some people would probably say, oh, you're forgetting this content creator, but you're forgetting that content creator, but personally, I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of people in the Red Dead Online community, in the YouTuber part, I don't really like a lot of them, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I think a lot of... A lot of them that are in the, that community, I believe they come up with some very wild and outlandish statements like how uh, Red Dead Online is being literally abused like a child just because of a reused asset in GTA Online. Or, you know, how basically, uh, pff, you know, the, the, the explosive arrow on the bow is worse than the Oppressor Mark II. I'm not saying their names, but if you know who I'm on about, you know who I'm on about. Um, <laughs> but yeah, do check out GB and Void Amy, and obviously Professional as well. I, I'm assuming everyone knows who a professional is. I think pretty much everyone knows who he is. Um, but yeah, pro I'm being honest, I don't have any high expectations regarding Save Britain Online, uh, but hopefully something does happen. As I've said, I'm in the middle. I'm I'm like the man in the middle, you know. I'm looking at both both views. I mean, yes, it's more wise that Take Two focuses on G, you know, Take Two and Rockstar focus on GTA Online mainly because of that's where their money is at. But at the same time, they shouldn't, you know, just kill a game mode just because of that. Even because Red Online still has its dedicated player base, you know, there are still a lot of people that do come on Red Dead Online every day to play it. You know, I know people that go on it. And there are people that still have genuine fun playing it, you know? It's it's kind of sad, in a way. It's kind of very sad, if I'm being honest. Uh, the, the neglection for Red Dead Online, you know? But, uh, I don't know. It's hoping hashtag save Red Dead Online does something, but as I've said, if it doesn't, ah oh well. <laughs> but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my little ramble, um, one of these ramble videos, I guess, of me just talking my opinion on the whole thing, and also shouting out some peeps as well that are in the Red Dead community. Uh, I do recommend you check them out again, as I've said. And uh, f before someone asks, w was that meme like a, at the beginning of the video, like a shot of the Red Dead community, or Red Dead Online itself? No, I, I, I thought it was a funny meme, basically just saying how you know, Red Dead Online got like, the burger is content for Red Dead Online, and Red Dead Online is Spider-Man, and it's like, hey, hey, I'm, I'm eating this red, this content, man. And then, then you know, the, the Bill Man's Rockstar, yeah. I think you get where I'm coming from. Ho 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 hopefully, hopefully you guys understand the meme. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys somehow enjoyed the video. If you did, do feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. I just want your honest opinion. And I completely forgot about this last stream. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's a funny blooper in the video. We'll, we'll keep it in. We're keeping it in. But, yeah. Uh, do sub if you're new. It does help out the channel a lot. Um, and also, join the Discord server. It's a pretty cool place. And you, you're more than welcome to comment down below your honest opinion on hashtag Save Red Online. Uh, as I have said, I don't have many high expectations regarding it. But, hey. We'll see what happens. But yeah. As always, it's been me, Kane, and well, I'll catch you in whatever I do next. <laughs> Bye, guys.